Tottenham have had their first attempt to sign Nicolo Zaniolo rejected, as they look to bolster Antonio Conte's squad as per his demands to the club's hierarchy. Spurs have been trying to sign a creative midfielder as the current crop of players has lacked a playmaker and Zaniolo has been targeted to be that man. The 23-year-old was left out of Jose Mourinho's squad to face Spezia amid interest from North London, as he has also been a target for rivals Arsenal. Reports have claimed that the Serie A side are willing to accept offers of £35 million for the Italian. Now Spurs have made their first move for Zaniolo. La Gazzetta dello Sport have claimed that on Friday, Spurs offered Roma an expensive loan with the obligation to buy their star man should Conte outfit finish in the top four or he records either seven or eight goals and assists. Roma rejected the complicated offer, however, and further negotiations will have to be held if Spurs are to get their man. Zaniolo's agent is said to be in London to arrange a move to the Premier League as West Ham have also expressed an interest but Spurs are thought to be the favourites for his signature. Any deal taking Zaniolo away from Roma would include a 15% sell-on clause to his former club Inter Milan, prompting Marinho's side to push for the full sale at their desired price. Sky Sports have claimed that Roma are happy to sell Zaniolo this month and would also consider a loan with an obligation to buy though they are unlikely to be happy with the terms of the current proposed offer. Arsenal also were linked with the winger, but following their signing of Leandro Trossard from Brighton for an initial £20 million, they may have concluded their transfer business in that area of the pitch. A Spurs deal for Zaniolo could become complicated, however, as managing director Fabio Paratici will likely be leading negotiations as the former Juventus chief has strong contacts within Italian football. However, the Spurs chief has been named as his former club have received a 15-point penalty for allegedly using falsified capital gains. Paratici has been given the longest ban of any of the former Juventus officials suspending him from football-related activity in the country for 30 months. And Spurs are waiting to see if the ruling affects them and their transfer business this month. Conti has been adamant that new signings are needed to compete at the top of the table. At the start of the season, I was very, very clear with the club. I said, OK, we can be competitive to win, but try to continue to improve in a way we can do it, Conti said at the start of the month. Because, also, you have to know there are clubs who can invest £200 million, £300 million and then other clubs who have different policies. You have to respect other policies.